राम 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 सर्वे हृत्पूर्वक नमस्कार श्री राम भुजंग प्रयात स्त्रोत्र पारायणाभ्यास कक्षायाम स्वागत प्रथमत मंगल श्लोका तथा गुरुवंदन च उत्तर स्त्रोत्र प्रारंभ क्या A warm welcome to all of you to learn to chant Sri Rama Bhujanga Prayatas Totram, the third session. We have completed learning five verses yesterday. We will continue and hopefully have some time for individual chanting as well. As usual, we will begin with Guru Vandanam and Mangala Shloka. I request all of you to please chant along. Please sit up straight, take a deep breath, and we will invoke the blessings of the Acharyas. and our gurus guru re va gati re guru me va bhaje guru nai va sahasmi namo gurave na guru paramam शिशुरस्म गुरो मतिरस्ति गुर मम पाहि गुरो श्रुति स्मृति पुराणा करुणाल नमा भगवत्दशंकोकशंक भारतीतीर्थवर्यतम भक्तहृत्तापनाशनम भवभीति हर दावे सतत हृदय विद्या विनय संपन्न वेतरा गौ विवेकिन वंदे वेदातत्व्यो विधुशेखर भारती अनगुण संपन्नाश्रुताश्रुता प्रणु गैर्वाण्या सौ विबोधेन जीवन मौल्य संयुत व्याकोत् Okay, we will uh, have a quick recap of the verses we learned yesterday, and then we will proceed with today's new verses. Um, welcome to the panelists. I see Charu. If Ishu has joined, request you to please rename yourself, Ishu. So that I'll know that you're present for Anucharanam. <clears throat> yeah, Ishu is also here. Uh, welcome, Swagatam Ishu and Charu. Vishuddham param satchidanandarupam gunadharam adharahinam varenyam Mahantam vibhantam guhantam gunantam sukhantam svayandham aramam prapadhyam शिवनिमेकुंताख्यम सुखाकारून्यम सुम्यम महेशं कलेश सुश परेश महिषं प्रपद्ये यदा वर्णयत कर्णमूले शिवो राम रामेति रामेति काश्याम तदेक परंतारक ब्रह्म भजेहम 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 
महारत्न पीठेशुभे कल्पमूले सुखासीन आदिकोटि प्रकाशम सदा जानकी लक्ष्मणोपेतमेक सदा रामचंद्रम भजेह भजेह क्वणद्रत्न मंजीर पादारविंदम लसन्मेखलाचारुपीताबराढ़्यम महारत्न हारोल्लसत्कौस्तुभांगदरी मंजरी लोलमाल यू कैन पैरली रीड द इंग्लिश मीनिंग वेरी ब्यूटिफुल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ भगवान श्री रामा इन दिस वर्स Adi Shankar Bhagavat Pada Charya is describing the lotus feet of Bhagavan Sri Rama, which are adorned by jingling gem-studded anklets, and who is clad in a beautiful pitambara, that is yellow uh, silk garment, and mekhala refers to the waistband, and he has a maharatna hara, a hara, a, a necklace. With uh, wonderful gems and Kaustubha Kaustubha money, which you know adorns Vishnu, Krishna, Rama on his chest, and a garland of flowers, which are encircled by buzzing black bees. So Acharya starts the stotra as Vishuddham Param Sachidananda Rupam, the supreme universal consciousness, um, purity. and that is the all pervading brahman and then as we go as we come to other verses he is describing the beautiful form of bhagavan shri rama so we should appreciate how um, shankara bhagavat pada acharya is giving us both the saguna and nirguna aspects of bhagavan shri ramachandra verse 6 issue new verse today Ishu, please unmute and share your video. Lasachandrika, 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 Mera Shona Dharabham, Mera Shona Dharabham. चंद्रिकाणा लसच्चंद्रिकास्मेरशोणाधराभम लसच्चंद्रिकास्मेरशोणाधराभम समुद्यत पतंगेन दुकोटि प्रकाशम समुद्यत पतंगेन्दु कोटि प्रकाशम समुद्यत पतंगेन्दु कोटि प्रकाशम यार इट इस समुद्यत पतंगेन्दु कोटि प्रकाशम सो इंदु रेफर्स टू द मून इंदु कोटि मींस अ क्रोर मून्स Samudyat patangendu koti prakasham, but we don't split. We chant the entire line together. Namad Brahmarudradi. Namad Brahmarudradi. Namad Brahmarudradi. Koti raratna. Koti raratna. Koti raratna. Purat kanti, 
स्फुरत्कांति स्फुरत्कांति नीराजनाराधिताघ्रीराजनाराधिताघ्रीं नीराजनाराधिताघ्रीं ओके सो हियर अगेन थर्ड लाइन नमद ब्रह्म रुद्रादि कोटीर रत्न स्फुरत कांति नीराजनाराधिताघ्रीं so this is describing the feet of uh, rama and it is a beautiful analogy beautiful description so when many um, gods like brahma rudra and others prostrate to him they are wearing kirita that is they are wearing uh, crowns which are gem studded and because of the brilliance and radiance of the gems of their crowns when they prostrate to the feet of shri rama that radiance itself is like a nirajana is like an aarati to the feet of shri rama that is the beautiful description of rama's feet here and um, here again we cannot split so here it's a what we call a samasta padam or a compound word so we have to chant third line and fourth line together namad brahma rudradi kotira ratna spurat kanti nirajana radhi tangri but if you understand the meaning it will be easier for you to know the words and you can chant at a stretch namad brahma rudradi kotira ratna spurat kanti nirajana nirajana is arati aradhi tangri so that is the beautiful description here now we will do one line at a time just for the sake of learning i will split after the third pada for now but we are not supposed to split there there is a hyphen here which indicates that it is one uh, we have to chant it at, at a stretch third and fourth pada so here we'll see some of the dvitvams <clears throat> indu koti prakasham so here p is doubling koti prakasham namad brahma rudradi actually in all these places you get dvidvam kotira ratna spurat kanti nirajana radhi tangri okay we'll do this verse and again one line at a time lasat chandrika smera shona dharabham लसत चंद्रिका स्मेर शोणाधराभम लसत चंद्रिका स्मेर शोणाधराभम समुद्यत पतंगेंदु कोटि प्रकाशम समुद्यत पतंगेंदु कोटि प्रकाशम समुद्यत पतंगेंदु कोटि प्रकाशम नमद ब्रह्म रुद्रादि कोटीर रत्न नमद ब्रह्म रुद्रादि कोटीर रत्न नमद ब्रह्म रुद्रादि कोटीर रत्न स्फुरत कांति नीराजनाराधिताघ्रीं स्फुरत कांति नीराजनाराधिताघ्रीं सो हियर द स्फुरत इट इज अ महाप्राण स्फु एंड इट इज ऑल्सो अद्वित्व kotir ratna spurat so there the dvitvam is very prominently heard the s is doubling kotir ratna spurat kanti nirajana radhi tangrim so when we chant third and fourth line together it becomes kotir ratna spurat spurat so that s dvitvam should be heard clearly mahapranas you all know dha and bha in the first lines ku dhi and angrim there gh in the last line now we will do two lines at a time lasat chandrika smera shona dharabham samudyat patangendu koti prakasham 
लसच्चंद्रिका स्मेरशोणाधराभं समुद्यत् पतंगेंदुकोटि प्रकाशं लसच्चंद्रिका स्मेरशोणाधराभं समुद्यत् पतंगेंदुकोटि प्रकाशं नमद् ब्रह्मरुद्रादि कोटीररत्नस्फुरत् कांतिनीराजनाराधितांग्रिम् नमद् ब्रह्मरुद्रादि कोटीररत्नस्फुरत् कांतिनीराजनाराधितांग्रिम् नमद् ब्रह्मरुद्रादि कोटीररत नस्फुरत कांति नीराजनाराधितांग्रिम। Okay, now the entire verse। लसचंद्रिका स्मेरशोणाधराभम समुद्यत पतंगेंदु कोटि प्रकाशम। नमद् ब्रह्मरुद्रादि कोटीररत्नस्फुरत् कांतिनीराजनाराधितांग्रिम् लसच्चंद्रिकास्मेरशोणाधराभम् समुद्यत् पतंगेंदु कोटि प्रकाशम् नमद् ब्रह्मरुद्रादि कोटीररत नस्पुरत कांतिनीराजनाराधितांग्रिम लसच्चंद्रिका स्मेरशोणाधराभम् समुद्यत पतंगेंदुकोटि प्रकाशम् नमद् ब्रह्मरुद्रादि कोटीररत नस्पुरत कांतिनीराजनाराधितांग्रिम Try to see if you can share your webcam with us for the next verses. Now, Charu, please share your webcam. Yes, next one, Charu. Puraf Pranjali Nanjali Yadi Bhak तान पूरा प्राणजली नांजने यादि भक्तान पूरा प्राणजली नांजने यादि भक्तान स्वचिन मुद्रया स्वचिन मुद्रया स्वचिन मुद्रया भद्रया बोधयंतम भद्रया बोधयंतम् भद्रया बोधयंतम् भजे हम भजे हम भजे हम भजे हम भजे हम भजे हम सदा राम चंद्रम सदा राम चंद्रम सदा राम चंद्रम Tvadanyannamanye 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 Namanye 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 Okay, so Pura Pranjali Nanjane Yadi Bhaktan Here, it is what we call Upadhmani, yeah. So, all of you, those who have attended our first class would have learnt about this and other chanting courses in Yoma as well. So, whenever a visarga is followed by a, a is followed by P or P, then we get what we call Upadhmani, yeah. So, visarga is this, these two dots. So, it, it should actually be Puraha. So that is the word puraha. So, but traditionally, the um, visarga 
Traditionally in Samskritam, in Devanagari in Samskritam representation, the Upadmaniya is represented by this symbol that, you know, that horizontal three like symbol. So this is the symbol. Please become aware of it, all of you. And also that is, um, it denotes that we have to chant the Upadmaniya there. How do we chant it? Puraf Pranjali Nanjaneyadi Bhaktan. Puraf Pranjali. So we learnt that um, the Upadmaniya and the Pakpa Varga letters. Papa Babhama and U U. Right? Upu Padmaniyana Oshtau. So U U, Pavarga and Upadmaniya, we have to use the lips for pronouncing. So we have to, there is an expulsion of air and closing the lips. That is how an Upadmaniya is chanted. Pura Pranjali Nanjane Yadi Bhaktan. So that's how we chant. Here it is Bha Mahaprana, Swachin Mudraya, Bhadraya. Bha is Mahaprana. Here there will be a Dvitvam, Bhadra. If you can notice, Bhadra, D is doubling. Bodhayantam. Bhajeham, Bhajeham, Sada Ramachandram. Bha, Bha, Mahaprana. Here, this is called an Avagraha Chinha. We learned yesterday also. This Avagraha Chinha, it just means that there is a Purva Rupa Sandhi there. Bhaje, Aham. Bhaje is I um, worship. Aham is me. So, when you combine the Sandhi, instead of the A, uh, you get this Avagraha Chinha. Bhajeham, Bhajeham. That's how it's pronounced. Sada Ramachandram. Tvadanyam na manye. So, Tvadanyam, this Anuswara combined by na, we combine the Sandhi and chant it as Tvadanyam na manye. Instead of Tvadanyam na manye, we chant it as Tvadanyam na manye. Namanye, Namanye. I do not think of anybody else other than you, Sri Ramachandra. See, these words are so beautiful, the way he has used in simple Sanskrit, conveying such a deep meaning, which is why it is important that once we all learn, we should teach this to others, and especially even to young children, because it is very easy for them to pick up. And very beautiful stotras, like a rhyme, you know, they can start learning. They, it will improve their pronunciation. And there are many children who have improved, you know, pronouncing letters because of uh, pronouncing um, words and generally improved their pronunciation because of uh, Sanskrit language. And once they cha start chanting, it improves their, um, uh, you know, their breath control, lot of um, benefits. So we should encourage our young friends, our young children to start learning these and they will just learn by listening. We don't have to tell them uh, anything about Vitvam, Sandhi, nothing. Just accurately when they listen to the accurate pronunciation, they will learn and start chanting because they have so much of um, capacity and capability at that young age. Okay. Now we will do one line at a time. Charu. Pooja Pranjali Nanjane Yadi Bhaktan Pura Pranjali Nanjane Yadi Bhaktan Pura Pranjali Nanjane Yadi Bhaktan Swachin Mudraya Bhadraya Bodhayantam Swachin Mudraya Bhadraya Bodhayantam Svachin mudraya bhadraya bodhayantam. Bhaje ham bhaje ham sada rama chandram. Bhaje ham bhaje ham sada rama chandram. Bhaje ham bhaje ham sada rama chandram. Vadanyana manyena 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 Vadanyana manyena 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 Vadanyana manyena 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 Uttama. Now we will do two lines at a time. Pura pranjali nanjane yadi bhakti Tan swachin mudraya bhadraya bodhayantam. Pura 
प्राजलीनाजनेक्तान्वचिमुद्रया भद्रया बोधय प्राजलीनाजनेक्तान्वचिमुद्रया भद्रया बोधय भजे हम भजे हम सदा रामचंद्रं वदन्यन्न मन्ये न मन्ये न मन्ये भजे हम भजे हम सदा रामचंद्रं वदन्यन्न मन्ये न मन्ये न मन्ये भजे हम भजे हम सदा रामचंद्रं वदन्यन्न मन्ये Namanye, namanye. Uttama. Here we can also combine the sandhi where if you don't want to pause after Ramachandram, after the third line, you can combine it along with Tvadanyam. So Anuswara followed by T. Ramachandram Tvadanyam Namanye, Namanye, Namanye. So that can be done. However, if you choose to pause, you can chant it as Ramachandram. Tvadanyam namanye, Tvadanyam namanye, namanye, namanye. Okay, now we will do the entire verse. Pura pranjali nanjane yadi bhaktan svachin mudraya bhadraya bodhayantam. Bhaje ham, bhaje ham sada ramachandram. मुद्रया भद्रया बोधय भजे हम भजे हम सदा रामचंद्रम तदन्यन्न मे न मे न मे मुद्रया भद्रया बोधय भजे हम भजे हम सदा रामचंद्रम तदन्यन्न मे न मे न मे उत्तम So in some verses, you will see this um, footnotes. So these footnotes just uh, indicate that there are some variations. So VAR refers to variation uh, because there are ma many Pathantras. So uh, there are some schools which chant a different word. That is also correct grammatically and meaning wise. Uh, so in the, in such cases we have just indicated a variation below uh, just to know that there are other schools also which have this variation but we in the class we will we will be learning what is given in the main shloka on top here yada matsamipam yada matsamipam yada matsamipam प्रचंड प्रचंड प्रकोपैर्भटैर्भीषयेन्म प्रचंड स्वरूप प्रणाशम प्रणाशम सको 
சகோதண்டபாணம் சகோதண்டபாணம் தமம் யதா மத் சமீபம் கிருத்தாந்தக சமேத்திய when you chant the entire line together we combine the sandhis matsapi matsami pankritanta sametya so anuswara followed by ka gets replaced by the anulasika aksharam of kavarga so matsami pankritanta and visarga followed by sa we learnt in the first class that we come across multiple visarga sandhis um, rules pertaining to visarga kritanta sa So, Visarga followed by Sir. Instead of the Visarga, we chant uh, two Sirs. So, the Visarga gets replaced by Sir. So, instead of Kritantaha Samethya, we chant it as Kritanta Samethya. We are not supposed to chant Kritantaha Samethya. It doesn't, the rhythm won't flow. So, we have to chant it as Kritanta Samethya. சமேத்தியோபீஷயோ Sametya Prachanda. There also P is doubling if you choose to chant both lines together. And also in this line, Prachanda Prakopair. There again there is a Dvitvam. If you notice, Prachanda Prakopair, there is a P is doubling here. We cannot split that line. We have to chant it together. Prachanda Prakopaihi Bhattair Bhisha Yenmaam. But we combine and chant it as Prachanda Prakopair Bhattair Bhisha Yenmaam. Bha, Bha, note the Mahaprana. Sha, uh, Ishu chants it very well. Sha should be chanted accurately. Not like Sha or Sa. So please listen and chant correctly. Yada Vishka Roshi. Again, Sha and Sha here. we learnt the place of origin of letters in the first class so that would help you to get this pronunciation correct tada tada vishkaroshi tvadiyam again there is a dvitvam here tada vishkaroshi tvadiyam the t is doubling if you listen carefully t is doubling before tvadiyam swarupam sadapat pranasham sagodanda banam This na, we should be careful while chanting pranasham, ko danda, banam. We should not chant it as na, na manye. That is a different na, ta ta da da na. Here it is na, ta ta da da na. Sadapat pranasham, sa ko danda, banam. Okay, so we will do this line, one, uh, this verse one line at a time. பிரச்சண்டோபீஷயேன் பிரச்சண்டோஷித்வீயம் ஸ்வரூபம் சோதண்டபாணம் 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 உத்தமம் மீபங்கிருத்தாந்தேத்திய 
प्रचंड प्रचंड प्रकोपैर्भटैर्भीषयन्मा प्रचंड प्रकोपैर्भटैर्भीषयन्मा तदाष्कोषिवीय स्वूप सदापत्नाशम सकोदंडबाण तदाष्कोषिवीय स्वूप सदापत्नाशम सकोदंडबाण तदाष्कोषिवीय स्वूप सदापत्नाशम सकोदंडबाण उत्तम सो हियर सेकेंड लाइन एस्पेली प्रचंड प्रकोपैर्भटैर्भीषयेन्माम ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज नोट द र देर आर मल्टीपल रेप संधीज देर uh the samyukta aksharas the conjunct consonants we have to chant every little uh, aksharam and samyukta aksharam should be chanted accurately and we have to uh, those who listen to you must be able to make out every single akshara and samyukta akshara in that now the entire uh, verse yada matsami pankritantas sametya prachanda प्रकोपैर्भटैर्भीषयेन्माष्कोषिवीय स्वूप सदापत्नाशम सकोदंडबाण यदा मत्समी पंकृता समेत्य प्रचंड प्रकोपैर्भटैर्भीषयेन्मा तदाष्कोषिवीय स्वूप सदापत्नाशम सकोदंडबाण यदा मत्समी पंकृता समेत्य प्रचंड प्रकोपैर्भटैर्भीषयेन्मा तदाष्कोषिवीय स्वूप सदापत्नाशम सकोदंडबाण उत्तम इश्यू वेरी वेल चैंटेड नेक्स्ट वन शु निजे मानसे निजे मानसे निजे मानसे मंदिरे सन्निधे मंदिरे सन्निधे मंदिरे सन्निधे प्रसीद 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 प्रभो रामचंद्र प्रभो रामचंद्र प्रभो रामचंद्र स सौमित्रिना स सौमित्रिना स सौमित्रिना कैकयी नंदन कैकयी नंदन कैकयी नंदन स्वशक्तियाशक्तियाशक्तियाशक्तियाशक्तियाशक्तियाशक्तियाशक्तियाशक्तियाशक्तियाशक्तियाशक्तियाशक्तियाशक्तियाशक्तियाशक्तियाश
we have learned the difference between hrasvasvaras and dirghasvaras so that we should keep in mind sannidhehi dhe is mahaprana then when we chant the first line and second line together it would be sannidhehi prasida so the p is doubling dvitvam which is why i marked that also prasida prasida prabho so three dvitvams in that line Prasida, Prasida, Prabho. Everywhere P is doubling. Very clearly Dvitvam is heard here. Ramachandra. Sasaumitrina. Again there is Dvitvam here. Sasaumitrina. Kaikai Nandanena. Svashaktyanu Bhaktya. Bha is Mahaprana. Cha Samsevyamana. So Dvitvam actually it just comes naturally when you chant. Even when we don't indicate when you chant, that's the beauty of the language and the uh, chandas there. With the rhythm, the dhitvam comes automatically. But I'm just pointing out to you because it's a very, uh, very um, nuanced and a significant aspect of chanting in Sanskrit, which is why I'm pointing out. And also, we I'm not pointing out all the places where dhitvam is there. The dhitvam rule, uh, like I said, it has been explained by Dr. Saumya Krishnapurji in a session in our Venkateshwara Suprabhatam course. Um, I will share that with you. I know I am yet to do it. I will share that video link with you. Or we'll put it up on the course page. I'll request uh, Sahana Bhagini to do it. You can go through to understand grammatically what it is and why we use it. Okay, now we'll do one line at a time. Nije manase mandire sannidhehi. Nije manase mandire sannidhehi. Nije manase mandire sannidhehi. Prasida prasida prabho ramachandra. Prasida prasida prabho. Prabho Ramachandra, Prasida Prasida Prabho Ramachandra. Sasaumitrina Kaikai Nandanena. Sasaumitrina Kaikai Nandanena. Sasaumitrina Kaikai Nandanena. Svashaktya Nubhaktya Chasam Sevdiyamana. Svashaktya Nubhaktya Chasam Sevdiyamana. Svashaktya Nubhaktya Chasam Sevdiyamana. Now we will chant two lines at a time. Uh, Charu requests you also to combine both the lines and show the Dvitvam there. So, Sannidhehi Prasida. Kai kai nandane na svashaktyanu bhaktya. Okay. So we'll do the, uh, two lines at a time now. Nije manase mandire sannidhe hip prasida prasida prabho ramachandra. Nije manase mandire sannidhe hip prasida prasida Prabho Ramachandra Nije Manase Mandire Sannidhe Prasida Prasida Prabho Ramachandra Sasaumitrina Kaikai Nandane Nasva Shaktya Nubhaktya Chasam Sevyamana Sasaumitrina kaikai nandane nasva shaktya nu bhaktya cha samsevyamana. Sasaumitrina kaikai nandane nasva shaktya nu bhaktya cha samsevyamana. Now the entire verse. Nije manase mandire sannidhe hip. Prasida Prasida Prabho Ramachandra Sasaumitrina Kaikai Nandane Nasva Shaktya Nubhaktya Cha Samsevyamana 
निजे मानसे मंदिरे सन्निधे हि प्रसीद प्रसीद प्रभो रामचंद्र स सौमित्रिण कैकयी नंदन स्वशक्त संसेव्यम निजे मानसे मंदिरे सन्निधे हि प्रसीद प्रसीद प्रभो रामचंद्र स सौमित्रिण कैकयी नंदन स्वशक्त संसेव्यम Uttamam Charu, well chanted. Next verse, Ishu. Svabhaktagraganyayihi Svabhaktagraganyayihi Kapi shair mahi shaihi Kapi shair mahi shaihi Ali kair Ali kair ane kaishcha Ali kair ane kaishcha Ali kair ane kaishcha Rama Prasida Rama Prasida Rama Prasida Namaste Namost Visha Namaste Namost Visha Namaste Namost Visha Rama Prasida Rama Prasida राम प्रसीद प्रसादि 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 प्रकाशम प्रभो माम प्रकाशम प्रभो माम प्रकाशम प्रभो माम so here Bha is Mahaprana and uh, please note here there is a when we chant when we split there we chant the Visarga completely. However, we don't split there while chanting the entire line together. Therefore, this the this uh, symbol here it denotes what we call Jihva Muliya. Again, traditionally, uh, this symbol has been used to denote Jigva Muliya in Sanskrit. So, we learnt in the first class what is a Jigva Muliya, a Visarga followed by Ka or Kha. The first time, because we were splitting, we chanted the Visarga, Svabhaktagra Ganyayihi. However, the, when we chant the full Pada together, we chant it as Svabhaktagra Ganyayih Kapi Shair Mahi Shaihi. So, Svabhaktagra Ganyayih. We don't chant the her completely. Svabhaktagra Ganyayih Kapi Shair Mahi Shaihi. Jihva Muliya there. Then, Ani Kai Rane Kaishcha Rama Prasida. Here there is a Dvitvam. And also when we combine the first and the second line while chanting, Kapi Shair Mahi Shaihi Ani Kai Rane Kaishcha. So here the Visarga followed by a, if we choose to chant both Padas together, the Visarga is replaced by R. So Kapi Shair Mahi Shair Ani Kair Ani Kaishcha. It is called Visarga Repha Sandhi. Repha means R in Sanskrit. So instead of the Visarga, the R is added whenever Visarga is followed by a. So that Sandhi we have to combine if we choose to chant lines 1 and 2, padas 1 and 2 together. If we choose to split it, then it's fine. We don't have to make the sandhi rule. 
नमस्ते नमोस्त्वीश राम प्रसीद द्वितम ह्य राम प्रसीद वेन वी चैंट द थर्ड एंड फोर्थ लाइन टूगेदर प्रसीद प्रशाधि अगेन द्वितम ह्य इज डब्लिंग प्रशाधि प्रशाधि प्रकाशम प्रभोमा एव्रीवेर यू हेव द्वितम वेर एवर हेव इंडिकेटेड द रेड मार्क प्रशाधि प्रशाधि द महाप्राण प्लीज नोट भो ऑलो महाप्राण ओके वील डू वन लाइन एट टाइम स्वभक्ताग्रगण्य कपीशर्महेश स्वभक्ताग्रगण्य कपीशर्महेश स्वभक्ताग्रगण्य कपीशर्महेश अनेकैरनेकैश्चराम प्रसीद अनेकैरनेकैश्चराम प्रसीद नमस्ते नमोस्वीशराम प्रसीद नमस्ते नमोस्वीशराम प्रसीद नमस्ते नमोस्वीशराम प्रसीद प्रशाधि प्रशाधि प्रकाश प्रभोमा प्रशाधि प्रशाधि प्रकाश प्रभोमा प्रशाधि प्रशाधि प्रकाश प्रभोमा उत्तम नौ टू लाइन एट अ टाइम प्लीज नोट द कंबाइनिंग ऑफ द संधि इन द फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड लाइन एंड प्लीज नोट द द्वितम स्केरफुली स्वभक्ताग्रगण्य कपीशर्मेशम प्रसीद स्वभक्ताग्रगण्य कपीशर्मेशम प्रसीद स्वभक्ताग्रगण्य कपीशर्मेशम प्रसीद नमस्ते नमोस्वीशराम प्रसीद प्रशाधि प्रशाधि प्रकाश प्रभोमा नमस्ते नमोस्वीशराम प्रसीद प्रसाद नमस्ते नमोस्वीशराम प्रसीद प्रशाधि प्रशाधि प्रकाश प्रभोमा नमस्ते नमोस्वीशराम प्रसीद प्रशाधि प्रशाधि प्रकाश प्रभोमा उत्तम नौ the entire verse so such verses i have a good breath control also it's a good breathing exercise rather so we will do lines 1 and 2 together and 3 and 4 together swabhakta agragalyaih kapi shairmahi shairani kairane kaischaram aprasida namaste namostvishram aprasida प्रशाधि प्रशाधि प्रकाश प्रभोमा स्वभक्ताग्रगण्य कपीशर्मेशम प्रसीद नमस्ते नमोस्वीशराम प्रसीद प्रशाधि प्रशाधि प्रकाश प्रभोमा स्वभक्ताग्रगण्य कपीशर्मेशम प्रसीद नमस्ते नमोस्वीशराम प्रसीद प्रशाधि प्रशाधि प्रकाश प्रभोमा
thank you thank you ishu uh, sorry so we'll do the five verses together charu will you be able to chant the uh, all the five verses yeah okay um from 6 yes mm. लसचंद्रिकास्मेरशोणाधराभम समुद्यतपतंगेन्दुकोटिप्रकाशम न मद्ब्रह्मरुद्रादिकोटीररत्नस्फुरत्कान्तिनीराजनाराधिताङ्घ्रिम् पूरः पूरः प्राजलीनाजनेक्तान्वचिमुद्रया भद्रया बोधय भजे हम भजे हम सदा रामचंद्रन न मे न मे न मे यदा मत्समीपंकृतात प्रचंड प्रकोपैर्भटैर्भीषेन्मादाष्कोषिवीयम स्वूप सदा पत्नाशम सकोदंडबाण निजे मनसे मंदिरे सन्निधे प्रसीद प्रसीद प्रभो रामचंद्र स सौमित्रिण कैकयी नंदन स्वशक्त संसेव्यम स्वभक्ताग्रगण्य कपीशर्महिषरने अनेकनेकम प्रसीद नमस्ते नमोस्वीश राम प्रसीद प्रसादि प्रसादि प्रकाशम प्रभूम वंस अगेन शारू लास्ट वर्स कपीशर्मकीशरनेकनेकम प्रसीद ओके या स्वक्ताग्रगण्य कपीशर्महिषरनेकम प्रसीद नमस्ते नमोस्वीश राम प्रसीद प्रसादि प्रसादि प्रकाशम प्रभूम उत्तम द सेकेंड टाइम यू चैंटेड परफेक्टली दॉम्बिनेशन द कंबाइनिंग ऑफ फर्स्ट पाद सेकेंड पाद um okay so today also we will have to conclude here we will definitely i will give you time for individual chanting um maybe tomorrow or once we complete the stotram you will have time uh prasad mahodaya whatever uh, the discrepancies you find in the telugu text you said there are some changes please email it to me at brinda.vyoma@gmail we will get it checked and upload the text in pdf on the uh, website and uh, <clears throat> prasad ji again as if there is a single word that is like a samasta padam which we came across in today's class then yes we cannot split between two padas if the single if the samasta padam is continuing for uh, continuing between two padas then we don't split however if the words are separate then splitting between padas is allowed like we do in bhagavad gita and, and in all other shlokas also yes so when there is a hyphen it indicates that it is one word a compound word samasta padam so whenever there is a hyphen between two padas it indicates that we are not supposed to pause there and we have to mandatorily continue chanting ninth uh, verse 9 okay amuda bhagini samsevyamana yes it is not sansevyamana it is samsevyamana 
the anuswara is pronounced completely probably in some maybe in hindi i'm not sure in some other languages i think samsar though it's written samsar is pronounced as sansar the anuswara is pronounced half in some words in sanskritam it's not like that anuswara is completely pronounced in words like samsevyamana only when there is a sandhi happening whenever i indicate anuswara followed by vargiya vyanjanam or yalava in such cases only because of the sandhi rule the anuswara it changes to the anunasika akshara or uh, i mean uh, or whichever i mean according to the sandhi rule however in other words it is completely chanted sam sevya mana prasad ji has shared the youtube i mean i don't know if all of you were able to see and i am unable to send it to everyone and i'm not sure why that is it's only reaching hosts and panelists i will try to share it maybe there is some maybe there's some setting issue here because i'm only able to send the link with the dvitvam rule etc of saumya bhagini thank you uh, for sharing that prasad ji uh, i will try to share maybe there's some ch uh, ch change which needs to be made in the settings here jai lakshmi bhagini english uh, we follow the iast rules so um whenever sh is there like kapi shair mahi shaihi there if you see there is that uh, uh, slanting line above s in the iast that indicates that it is that uh, sh so that, that there's a small diagonal or slash kind of a line above s in iast so that indicates it is sh these are this iast is a, a universally accepted way of indicating uh, other languages in english in the english alphabet so that that s above that line above s indicates sh <clears throat> prashadhi yes i think that that is answered ravi ji yes ppt along with the meaning will be uploaded to the vyoma dashboard devanagari script kamakshi bhagini just the stotram script you will get it in the uh, on our course page i think it is already up there sam sevya mana it is not sam it is sam sevya mana complete anuswara sam sevya mana sunil ji has also asked a similar question chaya vaidya bhagini sixth verse where is double cha or the where is it which particular word unless you tell me the word it will be difficult for me lasat chandra if that is what you are referring to there are two chas there lasat chandra double cha is there ha huh. when you split it the sandhi when you split it is lasat chandrika that is lasat is when you split the sandhi but here we are combining the sandhi and chanting chanting it as lasat chandrika two chas only sahana bhagini pdf you can get on the course page on sanskrit from home in the first line shali ji is there a dvitvam in the first line svabhaktagraganyaihi agraganyai there there is a dvitvam there svabhaktagraganyaihi there is a dvitvam there also sanjit das ji the fourth bhajeham is different where which which shloka are you referring to Uh, okay the, if if you don't i mean if i am not able to follow please send me the send me a mail bhajeham everywhere is indicated in the same way you say in some place there is a difference please let me know where that is <clears throat> aparna ji we will uh, repeat the 10th shloka again tomorrow verse 7 bhajeham bhajeham is indicated the same way i am not sure why you say there is a difference 
bhaje hum bhaje hum the same way indicated here also uh, please send me an email sanjit ji i think it would be clearer um <clears throat> okay any more questions please send me an email Ishu and Charu, very well chanted. A lot of them are appreciating you. Congratulations. Yes, they are very good chanters. Uh, they have uh, practiced a lot in many other stotras and they have helped with Anuj Charanam in uh, many courses. May God bless Ishu and Charu. Good chanting. Kavita ji has said that. Uh, Madhuri ji, Ishu and Charu chanted very well. Yes. <clears throat> okay, I think now I sent the chat to everyone. Uh, I was finally able to do it. Thank you. So, uh, please see, I just sent you in the chat box the YouTube link to Dr. Saumya Krishnapur's session on Dvitvam and Brahma, words like that. Why are they pronounced in that way? And uh, a few other aspects of chanting also. So please go through that, all of you. Uh, it would help be very helpful to understand this. We will not be able to cover that in this short course. Please go through that particular video. We will conclude with um, Shanti Mantraha. Any further questions, please send me an email. Tomorrow we will meet at the same time, 6.30 a.m. IST. Mm -hmm. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha, sarve santu niramayaha, sarve bhadrani pashyantu, ma kashchidukha bhad bhavet. Om shanti shanti shanti. Dhanyavadaha Sarvebhyaha Shvaha Sardha Shadvadane Prataha Punar Milamaha Dhanyavadaha Dhanyavadaha Charu Dhanyavadaha Ishu Shvaha Punar Milamaha Ram Ram Ram.